Welcome all. Uh, today we are going to see about pipes in Angular. What are pipes? Actually, uh, the pipe if you take, it is for changing the value which is shown to the user. That is only in the template level, we want to change the data, but you don't want to change it in the model, Angular model or send it to backend. It is only for the user. You want to change the data. Maybe the data is shown in different format. You want to change it to some other format only for the user. But in the model or in the backend, you want to maintain it in the same format. In that case, we go, go for pipes. Pipes, if you take, uh, we have some built-in pipes which are provided by Angular, like uh, date pipe, uppercase pipe. If you uh, use date pipe, you can change the date, uppercase pipe and lowercase pipe for uh, change in the format of the string. W what is displayed to the user and currency pipe for change into different currencies and percent pipe. Okay, percentage pipe. So, in uh, in this example, we will uh, try to uh, use lowercase pipe and date pipe. Okay. So, this is my sample application. So, this displays a list of employees. It just iterates through a list of objects, employee objects, and it is showing to the user the list of employee objects. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, I will show the application. This is the application. If you uh, take, we have something called employee list component.ts. In that, uh, we have the list of employees. I will show you the list of employees. So, this is the employees which Angular is showing uh, in the browser. And, uh, and if you take, if you go to employee list component.html, you will see a ng4 with which we are iterating the employees. And for each iteration, we are creating a new employee. New employee. If you take this employee. In this HTML, you will see the data. For each iteration, we are creating employee. And the, the separate, uh, the, um, maybe it has uh, six employee objects. So, six employee components are created. And if you go through the HTML, this is the... Uh, HTML data for each component, employee component. Okay, so that's what we are seeing here. Okay, so <clears throat> now uh, our uh, requirement is this date doesn't look nice, right? Okay, and this uh, shows a simple JavaScript object. Well, if you see in the employee list, we have a JavaScript object, date object of JavaScript. But uh, if uh, and we are just blindly printing it here now i want to change this date into a user friendly date user friendly format so for that uh, i will be using the i want to change this date into a user friendly format for that we will try to use the date pipe let me for that uh, apply in the date pipe we are using the built-in pipe so no need to uh, import anything just we can simply use the pipe we can we will go and go to the date birth date of birth where uh, this data is displayed this data is displayed and we have to simply put a pipe symbol and we have to put date pipe date and the format we want we have many formats i want a medium format let me try whether it is working now so now you uh, now you can see it is you're more user friendly this option you can very well see right now i am used for date pipe i have uh, passed in medium as a parameter parameter we will see later but what all parameters you can send it to the date pipe you can just browse through date pipe in angular if you go through you will get that arguments which are possible for date pipe if you so we have so many formats see if you want it like this you can pass short medium long full short date and i have chosen medium okay so 
<coughs> the next is uh, lower case we will try to use lower case or upper case so if you see our application right now the name right is not always capital if you see john and all it is midst of capital and small so i want to make the name completely capital for that what we will do we will go to the html where the employee name is displayed so uh, we are uh, displaying the employee name through interpolation in that we will add a 5 and we will add upper case okay if you do if you check now i think all should be converted as upper case you can see now the john has been converted to completely capital okay so uh, <clears throat> Next is creating custom pipes. We can also create our own pipes. Okay. For that, what we need to do, we will go to our uh, IDE. Okay. And we will uh, create a file. And uh, name it decorate.pipe.ts. This is for us to understand. It is a, It has the pipe pipe component or pipe so i have named it as decorate.pipe.ts okay now we have got a simple file let me create a class i will uh, name it decorate okay. uh, always class should start with capital letters okay i have created a class now to uh, tell it it is a pipe we have to add the decorator types with decorator dot add pipe and let me do it like this and uh, for pipe we have also have to give it the name so that whenever uh, the angular comes across this name it will send that value to this pipe so that it can transform and send it back okay let me have it as decorate okay now the angular doesn't know what is pipe okay you have to import pipe import pipe or simply what you can do make the id generate for you so now we got the pipe imported from angular core okay now we have told it as it uh, it is a pipe this is not a simple class, but a pipe. Okay. And uh, pipe, we also need to implement from pipe transform. Okay. Why we are doing this? Because we will be using a function from that uh, in interface. So, we are implementing pipe transform. Uh, in this custom directive, what we are trying to do? Uh, <clears throat> what I need to do is, uh, we have so many positions, okay, manager, software engineer, senior lead. So, manager alone, I want to decorate it with a symbol like this, okay. I want to decorate it, manager alone, like this. So that it is visible that he is the head of the team, something like that. So, I want to do it like this. How we can do it using pipes? This is what we are going to see now. Okay. And uh, the pipe necessarily has to have a transform. For transforming what is input to the, uh, the pipe. Okay. It will take two parameters. First, the value. Value, any. And odds arguments okay what is the value in transform function value is let me put this pipe in my employee uh, component.html i want to do it against position held right let me do it like this we have missed one thing we have also need to tell the angular module that to load this file when it bootstraps so we need to 
put this decorate in app modules. We put that. So in the declaration, I have to add decorate. So it has got auto imported. So here we have told no. So now we can use it in our application. Now the position held. What will happen when this file is getting loaded by Angular? When it sees this, this data, the employee the position held, that is the manager, lead, or senior software engineer, that data will be sent to the decorator using the transform function. So this value will receive the lead, uh, the manager, or senior software engineer. That value will be received here, and that it is the duty of the tra transform to transform to whatever we want. Okay. Okay, I will just do a console log first so that you understand what is received. Okay, and I will also print the logs. Right now, uh, I am not transforming anything, so I will just return the value. So the value will be the same now because I am not done. I am not done any transformation with the value. If you see that now. You should uh, in the console. You should be able to see the value which is received by the transform function. So you are able to see right senior lead, manager, lead. So it has been loaded six times, but because six components right for each component, this decorator is been called, and it is undefined because we have not sent any value there. Okay, let us send a value. Parameter. How to send a parameter? Just uh, put a colon and some value. Okay, let me put it as like this. Because I I want to send the uh, thing with with which I want to decorate that value. Okay, I want to decorate the value which is sent with this before and after. Okay, right now we have not done anything, so we should be able to see this in the decorate. So it should be printing the value and the uh, argument I sent. Let me see it. You are able to see right the first the value which is sent to the pipe and then the argument which I sent. Now uh, we are receiving the value. Now we need to transform it. Okay. So if I want to uh, transform the value, if it is only manager, what I have needed to I need to check for the value. Just check in the employee component what will be sent. Position held. The position held value is dependent on what is present in employee list dot component. So it should be like this, right? These are the data which is sent. So I will just put if it is manager. If it is manager, you say that. Add uh, the value with, I'll say uh, odds. In the odds, I'm getting the pass in the parameter with which I want to decorate the manager. So I will put this one and the value plus odds. Okay. Else, if it is not a manager, you return the same value. That's what I'm doing here. So once I do this. I should be seeing the dec uh, manager decorated. Okay. Let me see now. You are able to see, right? The manager is alone decorated because we have put a condition there. Okay. Right now we have done only this. In the next session, we will do uh, how to we will see how to filter and sort item using pipe.